Not all communities' flood maps are the same. FEMA has produced a variety of types of flood maps over the years for use by communities participating in the National Flood Insurance Program. In this video, we will provide a brief history of the flood mapping process, including how flood-prone areas are studied, and an overview of the makeup and features of a flood map. These key terms and acronyms will be used during this presentation. You can find the terms and their definitions at the web address on screen. The National Flood Insurance Act of 1968 directed the Federal Insurance Administration, or FIA, to identify all flood-prone areas within the United States and establish flood risk zones within those flood-prone areas. Because the mandate was to map the entire United States, the Federal Insurance Administration could not afford to conduct detailed engineering studies or hydraulic analyses. Instead, it used information from existing sources such as soils maps, historical high water records, aerial photographs of previous floods, and topographic maps to identify areas likely to be susceptible to inundation by the base flood event. These map products were known as approximate studies. These approximate determinations of the boundaries of the special flood hazard area were shown on maps known as flood hazard boundary maps. Flood hazard boundary maps served as the official NFIP floodplain maps when many communities first joined the NFIP. As federal funding became available for floodplain mapping, FEMA performed more thorough flood studies for many communities. Known as detailed studies, they involved statistical analyses of stream flow and rainfall records or analyses of runoff in the watershed, known as hydrology. Analyses of how floodwaters move through the river and floodplain, known as hydraulics, topographic surveys, and information obtained from the community about historical flood events. Detailed studies result in the publication of flood insurance studies, known as FIS reports, and new flood insurance rate maps, or firms, both of which are provided to the community. FEMA had originally hoped to produce a detailed flood insurance study for all flood-prone communities. Unfortunately, the cost of performing detailed studies can run in excess of $10,000 per river mile. Due to budgetary constraints, FEMA generally reserves detailed studies for communities where there is a high risk of flooding and significant existing development or potential for future development in the floodplain. Beginning in the mid-1980s, FEMA began converting the information and boundaries from the flood hazard boundary maps onto new firms for communities that were unlikely to receive a detailed flood insurance study. However, this proved to be more expensive than originally anticipated. As a consequence, for many communities, the flood hazard boundary map was simply converted to a firm by letter. This letter instructed the community to permanently mark copies of its flood hazard boundary maps as firms and include the new effective date in their title blocks. FEMA is attempting to change the terms they use to refer to the map products produced by approximate and detailed study methods. As a result, you may hear flood maps produced through approximate mapping methods referred to as basic map products, and those produced through detailed study methods as enhanced map products. However, we will continue to use the terms approximate study and detailed study in this video. The information provided on firms based on detailed studies is different in a number of respects from that provided on firms based on approximate studies. We will highlight these differences later as we review the features found on a firm. Because very few Iowa communities still have effective flood hazard boundary maps, we will only discuss firms in the remainder of this video. A community's firm may consist of one or more map panels. For smaller communities and those with few flood-prone areas, the entire special flood hazard area might be shown on a single firm panel. In order to provide maps at a readable scale, FEMA often divides the geographic area of larger communities onto two or more map panels, each having a unique panel number. 
The following map features help a reader locate the correct map or map panel. Whenever a community requires more than one panel, a map index is prepared. The map index shows the community's boundaries, transportation infrastructure such as streets, highways, and railroads, and water bodies such as streams and lakes. If the community's firm includes more than one panel, the map index will show how the community is divided into those panels. FEMA does not print a map panel for portions of the community that do not contain a special flood hazard area. The map index will indicate which panels are printed. Every map index and panel has a title box. The title box contains the community name, number, panel number, or page number, map panel suffix if any, and the effective date or revision date of the map. The community number is a unique six-digit number given to each community. All Iowa community numbers begin with 19. As revisions to maps and panels occur, FEMA will republish only the map index and those map panels that have been revised. For this reason, it is not unusual for community's firm panels to have different effective dates. The map revision date will be shown in the title box. The panel suffix, a single letter, will be changed with each revision as well. The first revision will be noted by an A, the second by a B, and so forth. Firms also contain a legend, or a key to the map. This provides, among other things, the symbols used to portray information such as the different types of flood risk zones and floodway. The legend also includes the map scale and north arrow. The index for the more recent countywide firms includes a table that lists the original firm and identification dates for each community in that county that has been identified as having one or more special flood hazard areas. On older mapping products, this information is shown above the title box on each individual firm panel. Firms based on detailed study methods include several additional features. The base flood elevation is displayed in whole number increments along the detailed stream reach. The floodway is that portion of the floodplain, including the stream channel, that is reasonably required to carry the base flood event so that restricting the flow will not result in a significant increase in flood stage. As discussed in Video 8, the width of the floodway is determined by calculating the flow area required to carry the base flood without causing more than a one-foot rise in flood stage. For detailed flood studies produced prior to 1986, the floodway was shown on a separate map called the Flood Boundary and Floodway Map, where it was portrayed as a white area on both sides of and including the stream channel. Since 1986, the floodway has been included on the firm and is shown using diagonal lines. Cross-section lines show the location of surveyed valley cross-sections that were included in the hydraulic model performed for the stream reach. The cross-sections are each labeled with a letter. Information, such as the floodway width, average flow velocity, and base flood elevation are listed for each cross-section location in the floodway data table. This table is included in the flood insurance study report that accompanies a detailed study. The location of these cross-sections is also referenced on the flood profiles included in the text of the flood insurance study. The flood insurance study text contains additional information for the community, such as a description of the community and its principal flood problems. It will also include a description of any flood protection measures, such as levees or dams, that exist in the community. A description of the hydrologic and hydraulic methods used to conduct the detailed study. A table listing the flow frequency analysis for those streams for which a detailed study was performed. Today, you have learned more about the flood mapping process and many of the features found on a flood map.